Could you tell me Cheryl Stansbury's room? Uh, she's on the seventh floor, I believe, room 715. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything for me, Amy? Oh, no, I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, um, Dr. Hardy? Hmm. Um, Sandy here is, um, representing the graduating classes of, class of nurses, and, well, she... You go ahead, you tell them what it is. Hello, Dr. Hardy. Hello. Go ahead. Um... Uh, something you wanted, nurse? Yes, sir. The graduating nurses of this year, we're giving a surprise party for Mrs. Hardy right after the ceremonies. Only it won't be much of a surprise if she isn't there. No, I, I guess it wouldn't be. We were wondering if you'd make sure that she's there. Well, well I do know that she plans to attend the graduation ceremony. Oh, good. <laughs> we were all afraid that she wouldn't be there since she resigned from staff. Now, you listen to me, young lady. You're all Mrs. Hardy's nurses. She takes great pride in your accomplishments. I promise you, she'll be at your party. Anything else? Nothing else. Thank you, Dr. Hardy. Thank you. Don't mention it, Amy. Hello, Steve. Oh. Oh. This, is, this is the chart for 230. What, uh, what is he? What do you mean? Well, he seems rather subdued. Oh, I think he's in love. What? With his wife. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> but I've got to tell you something. I was very impressed with your work in the emergency room. I didn't think you noticed me. I noticed you, all right. <laughs> well, I am just thrilled, to say the least, to, to be noticed by the assistant chief of staff. Well, if you keep up the good work, I'll keep on noticing you. <laughs> I will. And if you have any problems at all, don't you hesitate to come to me, all right? I won't. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dr. Cordy. Okay, bye-bye. Sweet it is. Monica. Hello. <laughs> you know it is. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. That seems to be the operative word around here. Oh, you mean that? Yeah, yeah. Why are you playing an old fool to a young nurse? I beg your pardon? You heard me. Monica, I was just giving her some fatherly advice. She's like my daughter. Just some words of encouragement. That's all. Nothing else. I'll bet. You know, I really think you are much too advanced in years to show the pangs of jealousy, Monica. Dr. Terrible. Oh, I don't believe that. Well, <laughs> go! <laughs> heads up. Sorry. Heads up. Hello, Alan. I apologize. Hi. Are you all right? Oh, um, well, yes. I, uh, I'm, I'm mending quite nicely. And thank you for asking. It's good to know some of the doctors here at General Hospital are concerned. Uh, would you be referring to a certain Dr. Jones? Well, it's just he's been so busy with the others, he hasn't even asked how I'm doing. Well, don't be too tough on him. All of the doctors have been pulling double duty, okay? Anyway, he'd have to be blind not to notice you. Oh, thank you. You do say the sweetest things. Only because they're true. Oh. Um, is there any word on Audrey? Or are you going to have to replace her? You know, I think that I acted rather hastily in accepting a resignation. Oh, really? Yeah, so tomorrow after the nurses graduate, I'm going to speak to her. I'm going to try to get her to come back to work. Oh, um, well, I, I know that you'll do what's best for the hospital. We always do. I try my best. Um, Alan, if she does come back to mm -hmm. the staff, do you feel that she'll remain on the hospital board of directors? I hadn't really given it any thought. I mean, she is still a board member. Well, yes, um, but you did say that you would recommend me for the board. Yes, yes, I did. And so I shall. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to recommend to the board that you be Audrey's backup. Oh, um, that's, that's wonderful. I'm so glad you're pleased. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Good evening, Mrs. Jones. You're wanted in the daycare center. Oh, thank you. Excuse me, Mrs. Jones. You're wanted in the daycare center. I can't believe you. I can't run the daycare Color surfacing, Lucy. I thought you said that when you were done with Duke's Club, you were going to stay away from Fort Charles. I see you're not feeling so badly. I'm sorry, Olivia, but you know how I feel. I read about the explosion in the paper. I called the hospital and they told me you were here and I wanted to see if you needed anything. 
I appreciate it. I really do. But I'm fine, and I don't need anything. And Robert is probably on his way over here to see me right now. And you don't want him to find me here? Obviously. Does that mean you haven't told him about your relationship with Julian? I haven't, I haven't been able to find the right words. I hope you never do. Olivia, I love him, and I want things to be above board with us. Cheryl, have you ever thought about what would happen if Robert connected Julian to Duke? What do you mean? Well, aside from the chance that you could lose him completely, I don't mean to be upsetting you. Go on. Robert would nail Duke for his involvement with the family. Duke would go to prison. Are you in love with Duke? That's beside the point. So Duke goes to prison. What happens to Robin? What does Robin have to do with anything? Robin is crazy about Duke. He would be sending her stepfather to prison. Now, who do you think is going to take care of Robin and Anna when Duke isn't around? Robert would be the last person that Anna would want to see. And that is imagining that any of this fanciful conjecture of yours ever took place. Oh, you think so? I think Robert would come back to them in a minute. And if you want to continue with my conjecturing, add to it that if Robert moves in on Duke, do you think the family's going to sit back and twiddle their thumbs? Now that I can guarantee. What? I'm telling you that you could lose Robert permanently. He wouldn't do that. Oh, yes, they would. Now, think about what I've told you. I have thought about it. And? I won't tell Robert about Julian. Not yet. You're doing the right thing. I wonder. All right. Dr. Larkin, call radiology. Dr. Larkin, call radiology. Glad you're here. It's good to see you. How's Greg doing? Why don't we go in and you can see for yourself? Good. I'm anxious to see you. You're looking well. Thank you. Who was that? Uh, Greg's mother. Gregory's wife, I guess. You want to talk about it? I uh, know. I'm not blind. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna talk about it. Good thinking. Pete, aren't you glad that I insisted we went fishing? Yeah, I'd like to. I know you're pleased. Oh. You're jealous, aren't you? I know. Not in the slightest. Actually, <laughs> this little fella put out quite a fight. Who did? Besides, I tell you everything you know, so I'm very, very proud of you. Sir. I suppose that's the main course. That's your desk. That's very funny. I'll cook them. Does that mean I have to clean them? Yes, it does. It's the deal. You're thinking, is it the right time to have a baby when I'm still with the Jerome family? No. No, I wasn't thinking that. I have to tell you about this investigation. There are things you've got to know. They can wait. I don't want to talk about it. I'm having a wonderful, wonderful time, and I don't want to spoil it. It can wait. This can. know about the hidden camera. Maybe yes, maybe no. But did his devoted wife think that she was loyal and hide the camera without his knowing it? I wonder if... Victor, I don't mean to interrupt your train of thought. Uh, just... Listen to it up. It's okay. I can use your thinking. Look, even if Duke was working against us, I can't believe he'd act so carelessly. I mean, he'd have to know the danger he and Anna would be in if the camera were found. Yeah, I think you're right. But how could she be so clumsy? I mean, my God, Olivia spotted it. 
Well, your daughter has a sharp eye. Yeah, that's what it would seem like. Let me think. Obviously, Anna hasn't showed the tape to anyone in a position of authority, or by now we'd probably all be indicted. And I'm convinced she acted on her own. So... What do we do? Yes, exactly. What do we do? Listen, Rodolfo, uh, go out to our secret file behind the bar. Bring me the dossier we have on Anna Devane. Right away. And if she was doing this on her own, what the hell am I going to tell Duke? I don't know. You think I would have learned my lesson by now? How many times can a person get burned? They say three times, and you're out. Oh, great. Well, this makes number three. How involved are you? Oh, well, no, we're not, really. I mean, not like that. We're friends. I think he's very nice. Can we get together every once in a while? Let me just talk. Sure, that's the way these affairs get started. You knew that he was married, didn't you? No, I didn't. Well, not at first. I didn't. And then he told me. Uh, and you kept on seeing? Well, yeah. And then, after I've been seeing him for a while, I found out that he was the one who wanted to find my brown stone. And I felt really used. I felt like I'd been had. Wait a minute, that might just have been a coincidence. Well, that's what I thought at first, although now that I've seen his wife, I don't believe that for a minute. Why? Oh, come on, Monica, you saw her. She's everything that I know. Wait just a minute, Bobby, don't you sell yourself short. I'm here. being a realist. Look, why don't you just talk to him about it? Well, at first I thought I would, but the more I think about it now, I think I might just forget I ever met him. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. Usually affairs of married men end up with broken hearts. Thank you for listening. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish I could have been more help. Well, you've been a lot of help. We'll get to it. She's gonna get free, and I want to see the truck. It's gotta be her. It's exactly the person I saw. Damn it. Are you two out of the game? Uh, hospital business. Um, yes, that's right. Whatever you say. Well, have a good day. God, do you think I should tell them that I just saw her? No, no, no forget about that idiot. I'll talk to her first. Yeah, but she's getting away, and we don't know who the hell she is. I'll find out, Lucy. Take it easy. <clears throat> and if you hit Friday, it's Larry's birthday, and Balky throws the perfect stranger's party. Then, Danny's girlfriend visits and falls for Jesse.